Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and he said there's an invisible box. And whenever you move anything, you can see the box. It is white or it's transparent, but it is there. Even if you fill it in with yellow and go to object and order and put it at the back of the page, it's pretty transparent, but there's still a box there because it is a bitmap. It is not a vector file that you would need to engrave. The letters are good, but the multitude of colors and bad spots are too hard to deal with. So let's just, he thankfully sent me the original clip art and there it is right there. So I'm just gonna go over this and it's small and you want it small. That way Corel doesn't have to work so much. So we know it's just a little over three. We're gonna make our nudge factor four. We're gonna click on it. We're gonna to go to bitmap. We're gonna resample it to 300 dots per inch. Just makes it a little bit more defined. We're gonna to go to bitmap. It has multiple colors. So we're gonna convert it to a grayscale. Then we're gonna to go to trace bitmap, outline trace clip art. And you could try different clip arts or different file. And we're gonna, take the smoothing up a little bit and the corner smoothing up a little bit. And it's not gonna change too much. Matter of fact, I don't like it at all. Um, it took away way too much. So just delete that and I'm just gonna do it normally. You can see the pixelation. So let's trace it and just leave it as is on the trace with the corner smoothing. I, you could run that up a little bit, but I wouldn't change the smoothing. And then you have this. So from here on out, you don't want to move it. And first of all, your nudge factor needs to be set on zero, zero, uh, because I made a duplicate of this. And I, I always make a duplicate in case I screw up and it's right on top of each other. And if I need to get back to it, I could. But this is how I would do it. And I don't know how, even though I fixed this, I do not know how this is going to engrave. You know, you'd have to do some testing uh, and I didn't 100% finish it. Uh, I don't know that the black is gonna be distinguishable from the grays and uh, I can make it work, but I would have to run it in multiple passes and I have plenty of videos on that. So we're gonna go to object group and ungroup and then we're gonna select it and we're gonna make a boundary and then I'm gonna move the boundary over and that actually shows you how rough it is. So if you have X7 and above, you can use the smoothing tool and just lightly go over it pretty fast. You don't want to change up the contour too much. You just want to get some of the smoothing smoothness out, even though it is bird's feathers. And for the video, I'm just going to go over this quite quickly. You kind of get the idea. Um, now we can nudge that over quite a bit more. And because this is broken away, we're gonna take this outline. Well, I don't think it's gonna let me do it. That's the stuff we do not want. We want that right there. So I'm gonna move that over to our outline. First of all, that might be the way to engrave it right there. And you can see my outline is different than the other but you could smooth up that. There's a little trick there. We could grab the smoothing tool again. Let's zoom in and take away some of this roughness on this guy. And I'm gonna show you here in just a second what I mean by this. As long as I don't hurt any interior parts. And for the video, I'm gonna make it go quite quickly. I just wanna get rid of that roughness this might engrave more than the inner parts um, anyway, because this will be transparent. And the, the white will be white or will be the wood. And that's what it's going to look like. So we haven't changed anything with the sizing and their nudge factor, so we can move that back over. Now you see that the bird is quite a bit off from the original bird and I might have, something's off a little bit. I must have jiggled it 
Let's change our nudge factor to 0 0.01. Let's click on this and just nudge it over ever so slightly. Because I want to show you what you could do. That right there looks pretty good. Then you could take the Smart Fill tool, fill it in black, and you could fill in those bad spots. And it's going to be, and definitely what I would do in this case is put a rectangle around it. Just because if you go outside, if you go outside the bird, you don't want to have the computer crash. And if you did this all the way around and kind of get more of the shape of the bird because we did, whoop, see, there's the case right there. And I can very easily get it back. So if you'll just fill in these spots, you'll get more of the shape of the bird. Uh, the bird will be a little bit bigger. I'm not going to go through all the steps. But you can see what I'm talking about. That would engrave. But if you want the color, I always do this, and there's a bunch of trash. The trash can stay there. I'm going to try to nudge just solid colors. Sorry about that. I need to change my nudge factor back to that four inches, even though we've changed it up a little bit. So I'm trying to get solid colors. If I see something like that, I'm going to nudge it down. I'm trying to get the solid colors of the thing. So you just kind of be looking. I'm going to nudge that down. I don't want that. I call that garbage. Kind of hard to see it so little. Then we're going to take this larger part, move it over. Move parts of the bird over or his head. He's kind of taking shape. And some of these aren't much different than black. You know, they're they're a gray. So that part right there, I don't want. I'm gonna nudge it down. I'm not deleting it. I'm just moving it around. I don't want that, so I go down. I want the solid colors. We're almost done. A couple more solid colors. I don't really want that. I'm gonna go down. I want the solid colors. Whoop. And you'll see in just a second by what I mean. And be, but see, that one goes down. That to me is trash. Down. Matter of fact, down. Whoop. Nope. We're going to have to keep that. But just solid colors. Don't really want that. Let's see if we can't break that apart. No, nope, everything's ungrouped. We might have to use those because we do need those two spots right there. We can deal with them later. Let's take his eye, his cheek, his interior nose. See, we don't need all that other stuff, and I'm going to show you why in just a second. Or I don't think we need it. See, I didn't get solid color because I can tell that it's gone because we're going to deal with that trash in a minute. We're going to get his toenails. That we don't need. We want the solid colors because of the fact that we're going to change it up quite a bit here in just a second. We don't want... Well, probably that'll be okay. Let's get that. And by solid color, I mean, we don't need that outline. Almost there. And I'm not going to finish it. Now, this is all trash, so I'm going to delete it. And because I kind of messed up and had our nudge distance offset, this might not work 100%, but we're gonna nudge this over to our bird. And remember, I, I must have jiggled something. So we're gonna, tell you what, we're gonna go backwards and we're gonna group all this together. That way we can move it around all at one time. So we're gonna set our nudge factor back on 0.01 and just kind of nudge this 
I got the rectangle. I got the outer side. Nope, still got the outer side. What you can do is go to object, order, put back a page, and then you won't get it again. Just kind of nudge that over. Now, there's a lot of white around that, um, that gray. But take your Smart Fill tool and fill that in with black. And then it just makes that other part more evenly. And like I said, I really think the other part's going to engrave just better. I don't know that the laser is going to be to detect that part. You know, the difference between the blacks and the white. But if you filled all that in with different colors and just kind of blending that black, uh, you probably in this case wouldn't want any white at all. <clears throat> but that's how I would do it. And of course, we didn't move the gray over, but the same thing over here. We're just taking up the space where that trash was. And if you did that all the way around, I think you'd be happy. But I really think that you could leave his nose that color. I really think that that original bird that was just black is going to engrave him is good. Here I did a better job and I sent him the file. A little bit of trash. Anyway, hope that helps him a little bit. Thank you for watching.